melatonin. Melatonin is called as the sleep hormone or the hormone of darkness because it is produced in the evening. What happens if melatonin is not produced efficiently in the body? And should we buy the supplements and stick to them and for how long? Let's discuss this in this episode of Fit Tak. Namaste everybody, I'm Isha Lal, your holistic wellness coach and let's dive deeper into melatonin today. What is melatonin? Melatonin is a natural hormone that is produced by the pineal gland which sits in your brain. And then this hormone is released in the bloodstream. And when is it produced? Jaise hi evening time aata hai, jaise hi darkness aati hai, jaise hi sunset hota hai, your brain gets a signal that it's about time to produce melatonin. And melatonin is so efficient in uh, promoting sleep naturally. And when you sleep, your other organs also get repaired. That is why production of melatonin is so important for the body. Not just this, it helps with synchronizing the sleep-wake cycle of your body with natural cycle of the nature, which is called circadian rhythm. Jaise hi morning time aata hai, waise hi the melatonin production decreases and you wake up naturally with the sunrise or just before the sunrise. So people who sleep on time and wake up on time is because their melatonin production is happening effectively in the body. When melatonin is produced naturally in the body, it is called as endogenous production of melatonin. But when you take supplements to compensate for the melatonin that is not produced in the body or when you are not able to sleep efficiently in the night, that is called as exogenous form. And exogenous form is definitely synthetic, it is produced in the labs. And who should be taking this? Let's go further. Number one, people having delayed sleep-wake cycle. What does that mean? That means people who are not able to sleep before 10 or around 10 o'clock. And their sleep extends all the way from 2 a.m. till 3 a.m. That means a few hours of your natural sleep have been shifted and hence you are not able to sleep better. So in those cases, external form of melatonin can help you get a proper sleep and maybe eventually fix your sleep patterns. Number two are people who are shift workers. Like sometimes we have night shift, you're working on a US shift hour or you have some crazy working hours or you are a night owl naturally. In those cases, your circadian rhythm is misaligned and you want to get sleep, at least full sleep time during the day. In those cases, external form of melatonin can be helpful for you to compensate over the lost sleep of the night. Number three, we have seen very frequently in the people who travel across continents and who have to adjust to different time zones. In those cases, jet lag is one of the problems and along with the jet lag, sleep definitely is compromised. In those scenarios, taking external form of melatonin again to help the body recuperate and sleep better is no harm. Make sure you consult a doctor before taking melatonin. Taking melatonin for short term or long term will have side effects accordingly. Rather being dependent on external form of melatonin, let's see what we can do to naturally promote good sleep at the right time. Number one, limit your screen time before your sleep. Number two, optimize your sleep hygiene. What is sleep hygiene? Sleep hygiene means sleeping at the same time every day and trying to wake up at the same time every day. Avoid caffeine, alcohol and nicotine late in the day. Couple of my favorite foods that help with natural melatonin production. Number one is almonds. Number two is walnuts. Kiwis are also a great source of melatonin. Not just this, chamomile tea that I'm sipping right now and also valerian root. They are all natural sleep promoters and will fix your melatonin. Three simple Ayurvedic tips to get your sleep better. Eat dinner three hours prior to your sleep. Number two, take a warm water bath. Number three is consuming milk half an hour or 45 minutes before your bedtime and that will help with increasing vitality, strength, immunity by promoting good sleep. So if you love this episode of Fit Tuck on melatonin and natural ways to boost melatonin, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe us.